Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for another Forza Horizon 3 Forza Thon event, and this time around, we're going to be able to win the Nissan GTR Horizon Edition, but this event will not be starting until Friday, August 4th, and it will end on Monday, August 7th, so the second challenge is certainly the most important. We're going to need to three-star the Splashdown Danger Sign using the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, and that's how you're going to win the GTR Horizon Edition, so I did make a tune for this car, and I highly I highly recommend that you do use it because it will save you a ton of time between building and tuning, but these are the settings that I used and I don't think these are required, but they're probably going to be the most consistent and the most helpful for everyone and all you're going to want to do is filter for the danger signs and you'll see the splashdown danger sign right here. I think everyone should be able to easily find that, but the most important thing is the starting point. Where are you going to want to start driving to go to this danger sign and right here, right before you go around that first really sharp bend is probably the best spot because you don't want to go too fast and you also don't want to go too too slow because if you're going too fast you're probably not going to be able to handle properly going around these turns and if you start too close you're simply not going to have enough speed or distance to three star this danger sign so I think your landing point should definitely be in the water because if you land on the ground surrounding the water that ground is actually higher up so that's going to cut down on your distance by a little bit so definitely aim to the left of the danger sign and that will help you land in the water and give you as much distance as possible and when you're taking the route as you saw right there kind of try and cut the corners a little bit you should be pretty much going full throttle but you can let off the gas a little bit if you need to to kind of control the handling and make up for any understeer but I have to say this car can do it it's definitely not as difficult as some previous challenges we've had in the Forza Thon events and as long as you maintain as straight of a line as possible keep your car balanced you should easily be able to hit the distance you need to three star this and win the Nissan GTR Horizon Edition but if you have any questions at all please just let me know but the first challenge in this event and also the fourth challenge we're kind of going to put together because they both involve drifting so we're going to filter the map for the drift zones and I think this one right here is by far the easiest you only need 25,000 drift score and I'm not someone who drifts at all I never tune for drifting but for some reason I customized the looks for my Nissan Silvia Horizon Edition a long time ago and it really actually works well so if you want to give that a try you can but I guarantee you that you'll be able to find other tunes that are way better than mine but you saw the settings I use those are the same settings I always use I did not change them at all and basically I mean this drift zone is just so short you just have to basically not hit traffic and as long as you get sideways and drift a little bit you should be able to hit the score. I think this is for sure the easiest drift zone in this game and after these couple clips here you're actually going to see a little bit something that should hopefully help everyone out a little bit more because I don't really know too much about drifting. I understand the concepts of it but it's definitely my weak point when it comes to Horizon 3 so instead of me talking I figured I'd let the game do the talking so you can see the way I'm steering, how much I'm on the throttle and all those different things and I think if I slowed this down at the end of the video it will really help people out so just kind of pay attention to that and basically you just have to counter steer like when you're starting the drift into a certain angle you're going to want to turn that way but once you start going too far in that direction you're going to want to start to counter steer and turn your wheel the other way and throttle control is very important especially with this tune if you use it because this thing will let loose a lot and that's why you got to be on the gas tapping it a lot letting off of it as much as needed and just staying inside the drift zone because if you go outside of it it will not count but all you're going to need to do is three star the drift zone one time and you're going to win 95,000 XP and if you do 20 drift skills overall you're also going to win 35,000 credits so you can use any car you want for those drifting challenges but for the final challenge to complete a co-op race using a Japanese car you're going to have to be in something like a Nissan but you probably already were going to be in a Nissan anyways so that's not too bad of a thing and you can do online or a private session like I showed right there just make sure you're in co-op campaign and do something like a sprint race or a circuit race but that is pretty much all you need to know for this Forzathon event if you have any questions at all please just let me know ask me in the comment section I will answer back and try and help anyone who needs help but overall I think all these challenges are very doable they're not easy but they're not super difficult and they may take a little bit of time especially for the day danger sign and the drifting if you're not too good at drifting kind of like me because I just never drift I really don't care to so it's not one of my specialties but
but as always, thank you very much for watching. I really hope that everyone finds this video to be helpful or useful in one way or another, and also that this makes you aware of the event. Don't forget, it does not start until Friday, August 4th, so if you complete any of these challenges before then, you will not receive any of the rewards, but have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all again very soon. Peace out.